Can a male have a uterus? The answer is yes. But how it's possible? Let's talk about the Sawyer syndrome. Sawyer syndrome or a complete gonadal dysgenesis was first described by Jim Sawyer in 1955. Sawyer syndrome occurs in male that results mainly due to mutation in certain genes such as SRY gene which leads to the failure of development of testes. It is characterized by bilateral stree gonads, mean testes do not develop, so they are not able to release testosterone due to which there is female appearing external genitalia. And due to the absence of testosterone, the Wolfian ducts will also regress. That will lead to absence of male reproductive structures. As we know that, Malurian duct in females form fallopian tube, uterus and upper two-third of vagina. In males, testes release malurian inhibitory factor that inhibits the malurian duct. But in Sire syndrome, as testes do not develop, they are not able to release malurian inhibitory factor due to which there is a normal development of malurian duct into fallopian tube, uterus and upper two-third of the vagina. A child born with Sire syndrome looks like a typical female, but genotype is 46XY, mean actually is a male. But don't worry, the incidence of a Sire syndrome is very rare. It's about 1 in 1 lakh. So there is a case. A 14-year-old unmarried girl was referred with the complaints of primary amenorrhea and non-development of the breast. Her build was normal. Examination of her secondary sexual characters revealed no breast development, absent axillary hairs and sparse pubic hairs. External genitalia was of female type. After investigation, serum follicle stimulating hormone and serum luteinizing hormone were found to be very high. MRI revealed hypoplastic uterus. Laparoscopy showed infantile uterus, normal fallopian tubes, and three gonads. And karyotype showed genotype of 46XY. So, a diagnosis of Sire syndrome was made. In this patient, laparoscopic removal of three gonads was done, as there is a risk of gonadoblastoma in such cases, mean the three gonads can convert into cancer. The patient was started on hormonal replacement therapy. The patients with Sire syndrome are raised as a girl. Patient with Sire syndrome are infertile. However, they can become pregnant through the implantation of donated eggs. The purpose of reporting this case is its rarity and the importance of the diagnosis of XY female for appropriate management, as there is a high incidence of gonadal malignancies and also to counsel about fertility options. See you in the next video. Take care.